Ugh, Sam, what is that? It's my disgusting sandwich. Disgusting sandwich? Oh, well, I know a story all about that. And it is called a disgusting sandwich. sandwich. Ugh. Right, let's see what happens in the disgusting sandwich. This book is by Gareth Edwards and Hannah Shaw. Oh, that sandwich looks disgusting. Would you eat that disgusting sandwich? Oh, I would. In a clump of trees, oh, you're washing it, whacking you in the face, um, on the edge of a park, there lived a... Badger. Yeah. He was a very hungry badger. Oh, and his tummy wouldn't stop rumbling. Grumbling. One day, a boy, wave hello boy, he came to the park. He had a sandwich. A sandwich with him. It had fresh, not brown, not white bread, and peanut butter. It was a beautiful sandwich. Badger, have a look at the sandwich. The boy took his sandwich to the playground. He was about to take a bite when a girl bumped him and it fell in the sandpit. Uh-oh. Yay! Now the fresh bread was covered in gritty sand. Well, said the little girl, Ugh, you can't eat it now. It's disgusting. Not as um, disgusting for me. A squirrel it's found the sandwich. She didn't mind the sand. She carried the sandwich into a tree to share with her children. But they weren't good at sharing. Uh-oh. And the sandwich huh, dropped out of the tree and into, splosh, a pond. Well, said the mother squirrel, we can't eat it now. It's disgusting. The frog saw the sandwich. It was floating in some goopy green pondweed that smelled of rotten eggs. The frog didn't mind the sand and the smelly green goop. He pulled the sandwich out to eat it on the path. Don't discuss the but me. a boy on a scooter raced by <clears throat> and he had to jump out of the way. Now the sandwich had a big black squish marks right across the middle. Well, said the frog, I can't eat it now. It's disgusting. Next, a crow saw the sandwich. She didn't mind the sand, the smelly green goop and the big black squish marks. She peeled the sandwich off the path and flew proudly up to her nest to give it to her mum. But a scary flying thing frightened her. What's the scary flying thing? Okay. Yeah, and she dropped the sandwich into an ant's nest. Hundreds of ants crawled all over it. Well, said the crow's mum, I can't eat it now. It's disgusting. Soon, a fox found the sandwich. He didn't mind the sand, the smelly green goop, the big black squish marks, or the hundreds of ants. Turn around, Bubba. He took it to be a present for a lady fox he likes. But when he opened his mouth to tell her how nice she looked, the sandwich fell into a pile of feathers that had somehow got there. Now the sandwich was covered with grimy old feathers. Well, said the fox's friend, I can't eat it now. It's disgusting. And she kicked the sandwich into a flower bed and went off through some bins. In amongst the flowers were some slugs. Can you see them all there? Do you see them? <laughs> they didn't mind the sand, the smelly green goop, the big black squish marks, the hundreds of ants, all the grimy old feathers. They slithered all over the sandwich and crisscrossed it with trails of slippery slime and oozy grey bubbles. The moon came out. Finally, 
Along came the... Badger. Badger. He was hungrier than ever. Show me your hungriest face. Oh. He gazed at the sandwich, all covered in sand and smelly green goop. Oh. And big black squish marks and hundreds of ants and grimy old feathers and slippery slime and oozy grey bubbles glistening in the moonlight. His tummy rumbled. Rumble, rumble. So he ate up all the slugs. <laughs> but he didn't eat the sandwich. It was too disgusting. disgusting. I hope you've all eaten your lunches already. Are you going to eat the disgusting sandwich now, Sam? Are you ready? Yeah. Enjoy your, your lunches and I hope you all have good days. Say bye, Sam. Num. Oh, Badger. Say bye-bye, Badger. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>